Michigan State has won 17 straight games. Baylor has the nation's longest streak. They've won 19 in a row. And introducing the head coaches for Baylor, Kim Mulkey Robertson, and for Michigan State, Joanne P. McCauley. And we are set to go. Michigan State in the home white. Really look for a defensive matchup. Michigan State loves to go in that 1 2 2 matchup zone. And a weak pass by Haney, but they will make a lot of passes in their offense. Neiman loves that spot, knocks down the three. Emily Neiman, second in the Big 12 in three point shooting, almost 46%. The six foot junior. Young left wide open, missed the jumper. Neiman kept it alive, and Scott gets the follow. That's where Kelly, Kim Mulkey Robinson has talked about this team being balanced. Especially in the semifinals. Baylor's doing a great job getting inside the lane. Michigan State really struggling. Shot clocks at five. Haney, Haney trying to penetrate. Missed the shot, fighting for her own rebound. That ball never touched the rim. And it's a shot clock violation against Michigan State. Getting their players open. Bowen, they're, they're getting high post passes, but it's all one on one right now. Good dribble drive right there, Mike, but again, they're not setting the screens, which is a part of their offense. Let's see what Michigan State has. Bowen with a jumper. No offensive rebounds at all. Whitaker running, they don't have the numbers. Kicks it back to Neiman. Two for two from that spot, make it three for three. I'd go stand on that spot. <laughs> Neiman goes down on the low post and steps out, takes a three. How about that? She's hit four three-point shots in this game. Rory has it blocked by Neiman. Saved by Michigan State, Bowen for three. Big shot. Kim Mulkey Robertson really stressed that in practice today that if the offensive player for Michigan State drives in the lane and if there's help already there, you don't have to go all the way. Whitaker didn't. She stepped in, got a hand on it. You got to come back and recover. Bowen, same spot, same result. And again, short on this, maybe a step beyond the range. Haney, great penetration. Eight straight points for Michigan State, 32-23 in women's basketball. Once you cross that midcourt line, you cannot go back, however, just like the men. And Neiman, another one. She had 15 points all on threes. What a huge shot that was. And now, oh, Bowen at the buzzer nearly hit a 40-footer. Scott, nice entry pass. Young scores. Shimmick commits the foul. He got his first national fight. They get the ball inside. Look at how deep Sophia Young gets inside. We've seen her footwork. She can go over the left shoulder. Good defense again by Haney. Knocked away. Bowen gets it. Haney on the run out. She'll score. And she's fouled by Whitaker. Joanne P. McCauley trying to find somebody to make a difference in there. 47-37, Wyatt with a runner, no. Neiman with her first basket inside the three-point line. Emily Neiman is just so savvy as she goes to the wide open spot. The lead now 23. Haney, 40% outside shooter, looking for a screen. And Shimmick, NCAAsports.com, the official online home for all 88 NCAA championship. Nice stack right here. Mulkey Robertson knows the inbounds play is pretty special. And mom, Annie Christopher, is loving this for her daughter. Kim Mulkey Roberts' team all throughout the season. And then Michigan State beat Stanford, who had been the number one team. So a great matchup coming in, but Baylor set the tone. Right now, Young can't miss. She has 24 as we hit two minutes. And now the Baylor fans, a standing ovation as Wyatt comes out and Blackman comes out. They're coming to their feet in Indianapolis. The start of the year, it would have been most improbable to believe either one of these teams would have even been 
in the national championship picture. And now you see Baylor as the 2005 NCAA champion. Annie, that's quite a finish for the Lady Bears. It really was. Kim Mulkey Robertson, I saw her play as a player at Louisiana Tech. She was the general. She made things run. I've seen her on the practice court. I've seen her on the game court. She's still the general. But what she got out of her kids today, what she demanded, they came through for her. Tears of joy from the head coach, who five years ago was an assistant at Louisiana Tech where she had been a longtime assistant, expected to be the head coach, designated by Leon Barmore to take over the program. For one reason or another, they offered her a one-year deal when she expected five. Instead, she comes to Baylor, and the Lady Bear program, the beneficiary, after five years, they have gone from absolutely nothing to a national championship team.